Hey, y'all. A very good friend of mine said that he's got an ads that he hasn't used yet and asked if I might make a, uh, a video of myself using it. And I want to preface this by saying I don't have a whole heck of a lot of experience either. However, it is quite often very helpful to see somebody else using the tool, uh, e even if it's a matter of recognizing what things you don't want to do. I've got this near ads, excuse me, near X ads, <clears throat> pardon me, um, that I got off of uh, Amazon, and it has a nice outside bevel. As you can see, it hasn't been used much. Um, I have had to polish the edge and, and touch it up. It didn't come in the, the greatest of sharpness. However, uh, it is quite useful. Um, I pulled this nice piece of mulberry out of the fridge where I store my wood after I've cut it up in shrink wrap. That way it, it doesn't get uh, too moldy uh, like it might get if I was to keep it in a plastic bag outside. The refrigerator keeps the temperature down. So um, anyway, I got this nice piece of mulberry out of the fridge and figured I'd spent a little time with it recently I just I made this innovation to my chopping block just a couple of a little posts that are removable so that I can hold the the piece up against and keep my hand clear out of the way for safety's sake now with the ads I'm going to cut across the grain to try to get the crank into it in short order and the how the angle at which you hold the ads <clears throat> excuse me is in order to get the edge to meet the cutting edge to meet the wood where you want it and so it really is just a matter of practice and like I say I don't have a whole heck of a lot of practice but to see me practicing some more might be helpful to some so just cut down across the grain and real quick I mean with very little effort I'm, I'm getting my my bowl cranked in here quite nicely and I these posts allow me to keep my hand well out of the way Oop. I feel like I have a whole heck of a lot more control over the ads than I would an axe to try to get this same approximation. But instead of having a, a curved surface with an axe, I would have a, a quite angular surface that I'd be starting to carve from there. Uh, and this way, I, I've already got a concave surface, and I'm, I'm ready to roll. So I, I hope that you found this informative, useful in, in some way, even if you just saw it and said, hey, that's not what I need to do. But anyway, I pray that it blesses you all and that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. God bless.